Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here coming at you with another interesting video today. Now, before I do get started with what I do want to talk about in this video, guys, I want to let you all know, as usual, that the article itself will be in the description down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. Now, as far as this video is concerned, I thought that it would be cool to talk about a real winner here, guys. <laughs> another morally superior Christian. Now, individuals like this idiot that I'm going to be talking about in this video continue to make me laugh constantly because of their claims of having superior morality, i.e. Christian morality, which is a disaster in and of itself. Now, to shed a little bit of light on this subject, I am going to share some of this information with you guys. Hell, I might even share it all with you. Also, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below because I am interested in seeing what you guys have to say about this and I thank you all in advance. Now, the article itself starts it all off by saying Tennessee State Senator Joey Hensley, the notorious Christian Family Values Crusader, <laughs> has been named in the divorce filings for a local couple, both of whom claim he's been messing around with the wife for three years. Now, Hensley, age 61, was subpoenaed to appear last week in Williamson County Circuit Court to testify in the divorce proceedings of Hohenwald Vice Mayor Don Barber and his wife Lori. He refused to show up, citing legislative and medical privilege. I didn't have time to do it, Hensley said when contacted on Friday afternoon. I had nothing to do with the court case, and any testimony I would have given wouldn't have made any difference. But according to the sworn testimony of both barbers, Hensley has been having an affair with Lori since 2014. Lori, age 48, is a part-time nurse in Hensley's medical practice in Lewis County. She is also his second cousin. <laughs> now, can you guys notice the extreme amount of stupidity coming from this morally bankrupt Christian here? Seriously. Clearly, he proves to us that Christian family values are not as great as he claims them to be. That is why I will continue to laugh at anything that Christianity basically sets up in the future. There is no truth to Christianity, and there never will be. Now, do you guys also see how he is trying to avoid the truth at all costs? I mean, he is coming up with excuse after excuse, lie after lie just to avoid going to court and facing the truth regarding this particular situation. There are a lot of Christians out there just like him who do the same exact things. Christianity gives these people like this the idea that they only have to answer to this character that is living in the sky somehow. <laughs> As a result, truth and facts get neglected here, and that is extremely unfortunate. Now, Christians like this hide because the truth and facts will rip apart their precious little world. This is why Christianity has lasted as long as it has, as far as I'm concerned. It was designed to avoid the truth and facts. It's actually that pathetic. Now, to tell you guys the truth, I have been arguing with Christians over the years about Christianity promoting incest. They say that it isn't there, and that we do not know what we are talking about when it comes to these situations. We know the truth, and we know that it's there. This morally bankrupt Christian not only participated in adultery, he participated in adultery with his second cousin. Now, who in their right mind does this type of thing? This is disgusting, and it has no moral foundation whatsoever. All I know is this guy has dug himself a deep asshole that he will probably never get out of. This type of shit makes me angry, because these same exact people have the audacity to say that others need to know what real family values are. <laughs> Let's continue with this craziness, guys. Now, Hensley gained national notoriety in 2012 as a sponsor of the Don't Say Gay Bill, which would have banned public school teachers from even mentioning that homosexuality exists. During one hearing that year, Hensley commented, I don't think Modern Family is appropriate for children to watch because it features a married gay couple raising children. This session, Hensley is sponsoring a bill from the Tennessee Family Action Council that would make children created using donor sperm illegitimate, an attempt to make it harder for gay and lesbian parents to establish paternity. 
He is also a sponsor of the so-called Milo Bill aimed at liberal practices on college campuses. Now, I often wonder what Christians like this would do if we came up with a bill called Don't Say Christianity. They would probably be screaming on the rooftops about being persecuted, (laughs) which is hypocrisy. They don't care, though, because they have a tribalistic mentality, guys. They basically say that everything being done out there isn't cool unless we are doing it. It's all a joke to me, and I will never be able to take any of these idiots seriously. This hateful and bigoted Christian says that a gay couple is horrible and that they do not deserve to have children. Well, Mr. Christian... I think that it is you and people like you who do not deserve to have children at all in any way, shape, or form in any situation. I just thought that I would point that out real quick. You are what I like to call a walking disaster, Mr. Christian. Your thoughts, your religion, and everything that you're doing right now is going to have a negative impact on everyone. I know that you don't care because your bigotry and your hatred is more important, and that is just fucking sad to me. Now, I will continue to fight against people like this morally bankrupt Christian because it is the right thing to do as far as I'm concerned. If we don't continue to fight, there will be another theocracy. This article continues, guys, and it goes on by saying, But Lori Barber is not just a friend or a cousin or a lover. She is also Hensley's patient. Barber testified in court that Hensley is her only doctor other than a cardiologist and that she relies on him for recurrent Botox injections. <laughs> she also said he has regularly prescribed her the hydrocodone pill Lortab, a Schedule II controlled substance for chronic back pain, which she said Hensley first diagnosed after she hurt her neck. Now, Hensley has been divorced four times, guys. In 2015, his most recent ex-wife took out an order of protection against him after she claimed he deliberately hit her twice with his car. For several years, Hensley attempted to pass a bill allowing college counselors to refuse to serve LGBT students who are considering suicide. This bill was eventually signed into law in 2016. Boy, this guy is a real symbol for morality, isn't he? (laughs) The sad thing about all of this, guys, is the fact that he will probably get a pass. Now, why? Well, because he is a Christian, and that is just sad. Christianity in this country gets a special pass all of the time when it comes to these things, and it makes me sick. This Christian clearly displays that he does not have any compassion for his fellow human beings. He thinks that what he has done with all of this garbage that he is involved with is perfectly fine. This morally bankrupt Christian doesn't care about the LGBTQ community either. He wants to deny them medical attention, and he doesn't care if they kill themselves. This is clearly stated in this article. This is the kind of guy that people should not look up to or respect. He doesn't deserve any of it. Please share this with as many people as you can, guys. I want people to be aware of him. I want people to be aware of the fact that he is morally bankrupt and he does follow a morally bankrupt religion known as Christianity. This is what Christianity produces. Thank you. 